Collector's Universe versus Fanatics versus eBay. How the heck is this going to end, my friends? Also, Eli Manning has a new show. I thought it was pretty funny. Teaming up with Pete Davidson. Did you catch who the sponsor was of that show? Panini Prism. Interesting. Stick around. Hello to all my sports card collectors, investors, all of my collectibles, friends. It's another day. It is another card video. I appreciate you joining me here and for your continued support. If you're new here, you're looking for daily sports card collectible style yes, content. Exactly. Friends, you have come to the right place. Above average entertainment, eh, mostly just average entertainment. Hit that subscribe button down below so that you're notified every time a new video comes out and they are a coming. Also connect with me on IG at Sports Card Dad and I'm also on Twitter, the Sports Card Dad. Big shout out to today's video sponsor, ComC.com. ComC is your home for buying, selling, and flipping all the hottest trading cards. Their consignment marketplace is home to over 30 million trading cards from baseball superstars like Aaron Judge to Marvel favorites like Spider-Man. ComC has something for every type of collector. Visit ComC.com today to build your collection with your favorite cards. Gotta check them out. All right, news reports from a couple days ago show Fanatics raising another $700 million. Their company valuation is now at $31 billion, which, of course, company valuations can, can really go up and down depending on a lot of different factors, but they have been raising a lot of money. And something that I thought was really interesting that was reported by Casino.org and also the Wall Street Journal is, is that there is belief that a lot of this investment money is put aside for M&A, which stands for mergers and acquisitions. Now, there's been a lot of talk about you know, buying Panini. Fanatics is going to buy Panini. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, and there's been a lot of chirping about how they were close to a deal, but then just couldn't finalize it at the end of the day. Maybe it will still happen, but it's kind of been put on the back burner, it seems like. But where Fanatics and Michael Rubin has already kind of made clear where they want to be is the sports betting space. And so I kind of think about like, man, they've got to be picking up some sort of big sports betting site. I believe that that is going to be something that's coming in the near future here with all this money that they've raised. And I don't know. I mean, like DraftKings and some of these are just massive, but there could also be something that is behind the scenes that they're working on. I saw they, they mentioned a Swedish company that has a big gaming uh, company, a big gaming arm, a part of it that they're there's, there's a lot of rumors that they were going to purchase, but it's obvious with Michael Rubin selling off his piece of the Philadelphia 76ers so that he could get into the gaming sports betting part of things. Expect that to happen. I think that's going to be kind of next on the wish list. And don't forget that Michael Rubin, when talking about sports cards collectibles, he's been saying it all along. They want Fanatics to be a one-stop shop for the digital collector, which so that'll include all the digital stuff as well. I was watching, too, on Jeff Wilson's, um, his holiday uh, show from a couple days ago, or maybe it was last night, actually. They did have one of the Fanatics guys, Tops guys, on talking about how, you know, the Fanatics imprint, kind of their fingerprint, you'll really start to see that in 2023. Some of the things that went sideways in 2022, Fanatics in large part kind of got a pass because they had just kind kind of taken over tops, just getting into some of these licenses and so forth. But now I think what we're expecting is 2023 is going to be now we're seeing more of the fanatic stuff, the takeover. And what does it mean as far as marketing and different moves and so forth? So um, we'll see what happens in 2023 with fanatics. But again, you've got them kind of this, this massive conglomerate. Also, we have a pretty big announcement out of Collector's Universe. You want to talk about one-stop shops? I read it here on, on IG. It was the Golden Marketplace coming in January 2023. will give you the ability to grade, vault, and sell in one place. So, of course, Collector's Universe owns PSA. They own Golden Auctions. And, of course, they've got vaults that are set up as well. So, the one-stop shop, it looks to be going into effect. And this, to me, looks to be more of trying to really take more market share out of eBay. Bread and butter of Golden Auctions, from my viewpoint, has really been on on the higher end, it looks to me here, though, that it, that they are trying to move into more of the everyday, lower to mid-end style cards. I'm not saying that they don't have that stuff now, but it looks to be that they're really trying to 
break in on kind of that, that eBay market share. So what is that going to mean for everything? And then lastly, we've got eBay here, which really is the market leader. As far as their marketplace goes, they are number one as far as the amount of sports cards, probably collectibles that are transacted on their site. And they've been going through all sorts of different innovations as well, whether it be the authentication program, whether we like it or not like it, good or bad, it's there. Uh, eBay Vault has been set up and they also have eBay Live as well, where they've got their live streaming stuff that they're trying to get going. So none of these companies sitting on their laurels, they're all working behind the scenes to be the one-stop shop. And that's before we get into any other of the other selling platforms that are available to us. So what does that mean for consumers? The one thing that's really interesting, I think, is to that we need to pay attention in 2023 to the offers, to the deals that are offered by all these companies. Because again, I didn't mention all the other companies in the background. There's PWCC that also works in this auction space. There's Alt that has a vault and has a marketplace and this and that or whatever. What's going to happen there. You know, I mean, it's it's very interesting. These companies are really squeezing. They're building on the back end to be number one, which again, we talk about with grading companies as well. We've got four very viable companies. It's good for the consumer. It means price wars. It means that everyone's pushing prices down. It means that these companies have to fight for business. Selling platforms is really no different. So I think from the consumer standpoint, pay attention to the deals that are offered. Because I think in 2023, there's going to be a lot of great selling deals. If you're trying to sell cards, if you're trying to buy cards, there's probably going to be incentives to buy on this particular platform. Pay attention to those things because I think there's going to be a lot of deals. And also, if you are a buyer, again, we've moved into tomorrow's video will be about the the buyer's market that we're in now. We, we were in a seller's market for a couple of years, but we have firmly moved into a buyer's market. And we'll talk about that more tomorrow. But And we've, of course, made videos over the last, the last couple of weeks. Vote with your wallet. 2023 is going to be all about that, friends. It is our time now. It is the buyer's time. If you are a buyer in this market, be picky and expect a lot a lot from hobby companies because they are fighting for our business. Do not forget that. So if you're unhappy with a vault, if you're unhappy with a selling platform, if you're unhappy with a grading company or whatever, there's going to be other options there. They want your business. So this is a big win for the end consumer slash collector slash speculator investor, whatever you decide to call yourself. So make sure you check out those deals. They will be coming in 2023. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay healthy. Stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.